Okay, so I'm making this video because I bought this beautiful arabesque tile for the backsplash at my kitchen, thinking, I don't know how to do that, but I'm sure there's a YouTube video out there that t explains it step by step. And then when I went and looked for it, turns out there isn't. So let's make one. It turns out that the key to getting good straight cuts is to actually know the angle from this curve to the tip. If you have that, you can make both vertical and horizontal cuts perfectly every time. You don't even need to have some sort of fancy compass to be able to figure this out. You just need to estimate it and then draw your two lines using a straight edge. Once you've done that, you can cut a piece of wood that matches that angle. In this case, it's 42 degrees, 90, 48. This is really important because I can put this on an overhand tile saw, put this against the rip fence, and when I push it through, I'll get a perfect vertical cut. And then when I need to do a horizontal cut, just flip the triangle. Here you can see the alignment for a horizontal cut. Just flip the triangle, run it through the saw, and get a perfect 90 degree angle. So here we go with that overhand tile saw. You can see the very center of the table has a section, a little divot there, and I've lined up these two points on my cut block. This is the orientation for me to do a horizontal cut. And you can see, I draw that on here, that the orientation goes this way, so that's up, but that the cut goes this way, a little side of the triangle. And that'll help me make sure that I'm always, you know, got that situated the right way. And you can see these are exactly the same size. No measuring. Just use the wood block and we're good to go. Then when you need to switch to vertical cuts, just need the other angle. So just flip this around. You can see I've set, labeled this orientation and the cuts both go in the same direction. And it's the same thing. Pop that up against it. And no matter where you need your vertical, you can move it back and forth. As long as it's pressed up against this block, you'll get a perfect vertical every time. Using that triangle, we're able to get perfect horizontal cuts you see here on the bottom, perfect vertical cuts you see here on the right, even combination cuts, and around the outlets.